Bridge, 47, Phil Devalise. I was actually kind of bored watching the presidential uh, race from the sidelines, and I was a real supporter and fan of Barack Obama, and I, I wanted to make a statement. How did you do it physically? Well, I did it right there on this laptop. I mean, that's all it took. Yeah, that's all it took. Yeah, that's all it took. Devil East posted his video on YouTube and sent out anonymous links to some key political blogs. From there, it took off like a virus, from person to person to person. So the first day, maybe got a few thousand views, then tens of thousands, and then went all the way up to a few million. Devil East makes political ads for a living, and he worked for a company that had been hired by the Obama campaign when he made his video. Devilise acted on his own, but he did leave his job after he revealed his identity and is now with the company working for presidential candidate Bill Richardson. Regardless, the Hillary 1984 ad marked a turning point. The internet is leveling the political playing field. Hi, Lord, hey, we're sitting in this coffee shop. You know, people have got their laptops out. Everywhere you look, anyone in here could be making an ad ultimately. That may change the outcome of the presidential campaign. I mean, it's fascinating. The barriers to entry are very, very low right now. Anybody who has a good idea and has some skills can make a great app. Even the pros agree. Mark McKinnon, a Republican political consultant. The impact that it has on us is that we've lost control. We used to be that we can control our message. But the message is out there. Now it's just out there wild west. The internet changes the rules of camera. Jeffrey Cole is the director of the Center for the Digital Future at USC. The real long-term effect is empowerment. We found after the 2004 presidential election, 40% of internet users thought they were gaining power online. We've already seen that power in action. There is a rising controversy tonight over a comment made by Senator George Allen of Virginia. In 2006, Allen used the controversial word to describe a person of color working for his opponent. His opponent's campaign taped the event, put it up online, and sent out a link to the video. Something like that happens, children are covered because it touches a nerve, people are responding.